What's up, everybody? This is your boy Stretch with Sneak Horse. This is our third installment of Kick Talk, presented by Sneak Horse. Hope you guys enjoy. But before we get into the shoes news, hope you guys can take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you have subscribed, appreciate you. Please share the video. Um, been away from uh, from the videos for about a month, dealing with some family business, family issues. No dramas, just you know, a lot of things. Um, I know you guys don't really give a shit, and I don't blame you. So I'm gonna just get go ahead and get into your shoes news. But before I do, today's shirt and sneaker combination. We'll start off with the shirt. It's a get a real beat from uh, from my homie Rigalati. Does a lot of beats, obviously. Uh, if you watch my performance reviews, he's got his I got his beats on the background of all my performance reviews. So if you're digging them beats, I'll put his information in the description below and you guys can contact him for your own content. You feel me? Um, the shoes, hold on. <sighs> got the Rise KD, Kyrie ones, not KD, Kyrie ones. Um, super dope shoe to me. Kyrie ones is one of the cleanest. It's, you know, the first three um, silhouettes he the, that he has all fire. Moving on, go get go ahead and get into the shoes news. We got a lot of Jordan brand on the slate. Got a little bit of Nike basketball and even less uh, Nike sportswear and Adidas. But they're all on the slate, so let's go ahead and get into it. First, I'm gonna start with the Air Jordan 13 cap and gown. Um, they release. They have a triple black color scheme, black, black, black. Um, they released May 18th for $200. I want to like them, I really do, but so far not so good, bro, because they, they got this black suede upper and this patent leather overlay, and I'm not really feeling the patent leather <laughs> overlay. The, the suede is okay, but it kind of reminds me of uh, the Black Cats from last year. Uh, I don't know. It looks like they're running out of, out of ideas. I don't really know. I can't tell you, but I'm not really feeling them so far. I want to like them because I got the 11s, and I would like to have both. But if I don't like them, I ain't getting them. You feel me? So right now, they put in the biscuits category. Next up is the Jordan 6 PSG possible PSG. Now, there's supposed to be a Jordan PSG 6 and 7. PSG stands for Paris Saint Germain. I don't know how to say it. Is it it's either Germain or Germain. Don't know how to say it. Don't crucify me. Um, I haven't heard nobody say it, so whatever. Anyways, um, they have an iron gray, infrared 23, and black color scheme. They don't have a release date. That's supposed to come out soon, though. They have um, 3M Reflective um, on the upper with uh, Nike Air branding on the heels. And then the midsole looks like the infrared sixes that just dropped, really. I think they look dope. I'm personally, me personally, I'm going to cop. I'm a sucker for 3M, so... Hey, they had me at 3M reflecting, so I'm I'm going to cop. There's no telling if they're part of the PSG because there's no PSG um, branding anywhere on the shoe so far. Like last year when they had the PSG 1s and the 5s, you can see clearly the, um, the branding on the shoe. There's no branding on the shoe, so it might not even be affiliated with the PSG per, uh, collection. So... I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. Next on the slate, we got the Air Jordan 7, Ray Allens. Now, when we first, you know, put the news out that those were supposed to come out, everybody thought they were going to be leather, upper. Unfortunately, it's going to be a suede upper. I actually still like them. I haven't seen the dull pair. I've only seen the GS pairs. But so far from the GS pairs, I think they're dope. They're going to rock a black, fierce purple. Dark steel gray color scheme. They're gonna release June twenty second for hundred ninety USD. Um, like I said, I like them. They kind of remind me of like um, an Aqua Seven, but without the blue. 
they just replaced it with the gray. Um, I think they're dope. They they are inspired by the Bucks when Ray Allen was a Buck. He was drafted by the Bucks. I know a lot of people. If you don't watch basketball from the nineties, mid nineties to late nineties, you probably wouldn't understand. But it's a good look to me. So I, depending on how my funds looking at the time when they come out in June, I probably got I like them. So yeah, moving on. We're gonna get into the Jordan Six, Ali May, um, Alili, Alili May. I don't know how to say that girl name, but um, these have been, you know, leaked. This shoe has been leaked for over a year now, and now they finally have a release date of March fifteenth. That is a uh, like next, not this. No, it's like two weeks from now. So. March 15th, I think it's a Friday. They're gonna rock a rust pink, bright crimson color scheme. So they have a pink um, leather um, upper with the bright pink, the bright crimson or whatever they wanna call it, the bright red midsole, not nah, milky translucent also. They cool to me, um, looks cool for chicks. They retail at 190. I don't know if you guys, you know, paying um, adult size prices for GS shoes, but if you don't mind, they're 190. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Next up on the slate is going to be the Air Jordan 4 Flight Nostalgia. Um, these are okay. Uh, they rock a white, black, bright crimson, and pale citron color scheme. They released this weekend, March 2nd, for 190 USD. Um, if you like these, you know, go ahead and grab them, but they're not gonna go anywhere. Like, they're not gonna move. They're gonna be sitting forever. So if you feel like, you know, the money is tight, you could wait a couple paychecks or whatever, they still gonna be there. I mean, me personally, uh, man, I, I wouldn't buy them. I would have to have super disco for them. Um, a super discount. I need a super discount for those. For me to, I'm gonna need to pay like $70 for a dead stock pair. 70, 70 might be still too much. I don't know. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I'm not really a big fan of them. They are right. Like, I wouldn't mind having them, but I wouldn't want to spend the money. If Jordan Brand want to send them to me, oh, I'm for sure going to put them to work. You feel me? Right. So, if Jordan Brand, y'all listen, anybody, y'all want me to promote y'all shit, you know what I'm saying? Send it to me. I got you. Next up, we got the Jordan 6 GS Green Abyss. Um, they rock a white Green Abyss and Laser Fuchsia color scheme. They retail at 140. I got a lot of good feedback from the Littlefoot community. That's mostly women though. They really like these. I honestly, obviously, I can't get down with these. I wear 13, 14. I can't get down with these in men. I should say 13, 14 in men. I can't get down with these, so, you know, they, they, I, that's not one of those shoes I wish that came out in men's, I tell you that, not in my opinion, um, but they cool for women, like if my wife wanted a pair, I wouldn't be mad at her, feel me, she said they was cool too, so, <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it for that, um, they release March 2nd this weekend for $140, moving on, we got the uh, Nike SB Jordan 1, got it. They rock a light bone, crimson tint, and a hyper pink color scheme. They release April 2019. No um, retail price have been uh, released. There's no um, obviously release date released, but with wear, they turn into a different color. So I think that technology is dope so I mean I like this color scheme and I probably wouldn't want to knock off the color off of them me myself because I like how they are but um you know tell me what you guys think uh when there's a release date I'll for sure update you guys I had another video coming in a couple days with more news so you know if anything comes in those days as far as a release date an actual release date not just a month of you know like I 
I said it's April, uh, and it'll retail price. I'll let you guys know. Next on the slate, we got the uh, Jordan Y9 0.2 OKC Home, which rocks white, total crimson, blue lagoon, and signal blue color scheme. They released March 14th for a retail price of $125. Don't know why they release it on like I think it's a Thursday, uh, March 14th. It's like a Thursday. I don't know why they released them such a random day, but they are. You know, they do their own thing. Um, I think they're cool. I wouldn't hoop in them. I mean, I would hoop in them. I would, I would rock them casually, but I would not spend my money on them. That's just me. So you know. Tell me what you guys think of them in the comments below. Lately, we've been getting a lot of early, like really early, of what's coming out in 2020, which is crazy. Um, it's not, but it's not so crazy. I mean, we know what's coming out as far as movies in 2020. A lot of movies we know is coming out in 2020, so why not sneakers, you know? So let's go ahead and get into what we do know so far. Right now, we know that there's a Jordan High OG. Um, so it's gonna have the Nike Air branded on the tongue. Um, it's gonna rock the black, white, pine, green, and gym red color scheme. It's gonna drop January 2020 for $160. There are no images because it's super early. All we have is a um, Photoshop of what they may look like, which is almost like a Gucci scheme, a Gucci type color scheme. They cannot attach the name Gucci to it because everybody know we boycotting Gucci right now because they, you know, doing some fuck shit. So, you know, tell me what you guys think. If you guys are excited about these, um, moving on. There's also going to be a Air Jordan 1 High OG Metallic Silver that releases in January 2020. Possibly the same release date. No, no telling. I mean, I guess we'll wait and see. They rock a black metallic silver. Gym Red color scheme they're gonna release for $160 in 2020. So we got a while until that happens. Um, tell me what you guys think. So far, we only got a Photoshop, so I don't even want to break down what they look like in the Photoshop because it's irrelevant um, because we don't know what we're gonna get. So it's kind of silly. Um, next, we're gonna have the also dropping in early. 2020, no actual month or anything, but it's gonna be a Jordan 3 Varsity Red. They're gonna look a lot like DJ Khaled's uh, Red Grateful uh, color scheme. So, like I said, there's no pictures. They're not gonna be exactly like that. Obviously, it's not gonna say we're the best on the Hill Cups, but I think that they're gonna have like a black or maybe even a red. Um, outsole rubber outsole so we'll see there's no telling i don't want to say anything but i am excited to see what these look like people are poo-pooing them right now but when they come out it's going to be stupid hype i already know stupid hype no no retail price so far it's probably going to be the regular 190 but we'll see it's still way too early so we're going to get out of jordan's move on to nike basketball and we're gonna get into some more 2020 mess. Um, so in 2018, we got the Pro Tro, the Nike Kobe Pro Tro One. In 2019, we get the Nike Pro Tro Four. And in 2020, it looks like we're gonna get the Pro Tro Five. So Kobe Five is gonna make its return in 2020. And it's the one colorway we know is gonna rock white black metallic gold color scheme and it's supposed to resemble the big stage kobe fives which are super popular super hype um that dropped back when the fives were dropping i'm not gonna get into it because off the top of my head i obviously don't know so but i'm excited to see what these look like the fives are dope i'll probably get into a lot of their um their classic colorways when the fives come back so I'm excited about it. Next, we're going to get into the Nike LeBron 16 Buzz Lightyear. You know, sometimes I just feel like Will Ferrell when, you know, he's like in Talladega Nights, he doesn't know what to do with his hands. I don't know what to do with my hands, so I, 
Now the rest of the video, y'all gonna be focused on what I'm doing with my hands, but I literally don't know what to do with my hands. I feel like, I feel like Will Ferrell. Anyways, the LeBron 16 Buzz Lightyear. They're gonna rock a white multicolor uh, bolt and hyper gray color scheme. They released February 28th for 185 USD. I think they're all right. Uh, I like the Buzz Lightyear theme. I would like to see like a Woody theme and make it a theme, make it a whole like Toy Story theme, especially with it coming out this year, make it a whole thing. That would be dope. And actually that would be the only reason why I would buy them is because I can wear them at like the Toy Story opening. So that would be dope. Um, for me, it's not going to be a cop. I don't buy LeBrons unless it's for like maybe a performance review because I've bought LeBrons. For performance review, uh, I got some laying around here. Oh. Soldiers, you know, but if it ain't for a performance review, I'm not rocking them casually, so it don't even matter. So, um, for me, it's it's out. But for you guys, tell me what you think. Moving on with uh, more LeBron news, um, we got the Nike LeBron 16 Low Safari, which is going to release. Um, March 2nd, this weekend, it's going to rock a kumquat and black color scheme. I like them, but again, I'm not going to buy them. They're inspired by the Atmos Safari release that, you know, happened in the early 2000s. I like the zipper that they got on there. Um, I think that's cool. I'm still not going to cop simply because it's LeBron. I'm a Laker fan, and LeBron's on the Lakers, but I never liked LeBron. I'm never going to, so um, unless LeBron comes on the show or something like that. Maybe I'll like him after that, but no. Uh, outside of that, it's not happening. Um, moving on, we got a, a black and white Nike PG3. They are super simple, super clean, and they're still dope to me. I, I the Nike PG3 hasn't made a bad colorway so far. They've all been pretty dope. The All-Star one is the only one that's just like, mm. but I like them, the All-Star ones, simply because they're almost like A's colors. And I'm an A's fan, Oakland A's. So, you know, I'll rock them. They're going to have $110 um, USD. Uh, that's about it. There's no real information on them. They're supposed to release soon. But they don't have a release date so far. So be on the lookout for that. I'll update you whenever I know. So watch the website and pay attention to the YouTube channel. That's it for Nike basketball. I'm going to get into some Nike sportswear now. Um, we got some Nike Air Fear of God ones that are coming out. We got the SE or the SA and then the, the one. Honestly, don't know much about the silhouette. So I can't tell you the difference between the two because I'm not really sure. But from the picture, I like the the Amarillo ones. That's the God ones. They released April 2019 for $350. Now that price tag is ridiculous. I can't tell you why they 350 maybe because they have a uh, lights, uh, LED lights. I think they have lights in them. I'm not really sure. I don't follow the silhouette, so I'm not going to sit there and act like I do. I do the research before. I'm just trying to give you guys information to something that I believe you guys are interested in. Not so much me, but you guys. The other one is going to be the Wheat Gold and Sale color scheme. They're going to release in the summer of 2019 for $300. So it's $50 less than the other one. And I'm not really sure why. If you guys know why, maybe I'll look into it after this video. But you can also share the information with everybody else in the in the description in the comment section. Um, I'm just gonna be I'm just being honest with you guys. I can bullshit you, but then y'all just gonna call me out. So fuck that. Moving on, we're gonna go to the Travis Scott uh, Air Jordan One uh, Air Force One Lows. Excuse me. Not Air Jordans, Air Force One Lows. Uh, he debuted these the uh, like two days ago. I actually like them. They have a lot of different colors, a lot of different patterns, 
a lot of different um, fabrics that he used. I like them, so got the Houston um, charm on the back. It got a little hang tag. I think they're cool. Um, I wouldn't kill myself to buy them, but if I was in position to enter a draw and I won them, cool. If I lost, if I didn't win them, I wouldn't feel no kind of way about it. I wouldn't even care. But they're cool, though. Um, I see why people would like them and go crazy over them. They hype for sure. So that's just me. There's no information on them as of yet as far as release dates, um, retail price. All we know is that this is fourth Air Force One, and that's about it. Moving on, we're going to get it out of the Nike Sportswear. That's pretty much all we have for that. And get into a little bit of Adidas. We get our first on-foot look at the Adidas Easy Boost Clay from Soul by JC. Uh, they look cool. I ain't going to lie. They, they look kind of fly. He made them look fly. Uh, I didn't like them in the first pictures, but he made them look good in the on the on the feet pictures and then the one single picture that he has that are that aren't on foot they still look cool would i buy them absolutely not 220 is just too much for pilgrim shoes orange pilgrim shoes they not fly to me so i wouldn't spend the money on but you know as of right now they still don't have a release date they're going to release sometime this spring so when that happens i will let you know what the release date is, watch the YouTube, and watch the website. Last but not least, we're gonna get into the T-Mac one, and it's gonna be the home colorway. See, when I was in high school, I didn't wear Jordans, I wore T-Macs. So I'm very excited about this. There's also a uh, black and royal blue, in addition to the white and royal blue, I don't, know when the black was released because I already have them so I didn't pay too much attention to you know seeing the uh, the news of those releases I have the from the last time they released and I only wore them once so probably not going to get them again unless you know I get them at the uh, the outlet or something like that for super jug so that'd be the only way I, I mess with the the other one so but that's just me that's Obviously not how everybody else rolls. But the last time the T Max the T Mac ones released, they sat all day. I don't know why they don't release the T Mac twos, the T Mac threes, fours, fives. I, I liked all those. So, you know, whenever Adidas want to get into some real T Mac talk, they get out of the ones. The ones are cool, don't get me wrong, I like the ones, but they ain't messing with the twos or the threes. The fours. Eh, when I was in high school and I had the T Mac fours they were pretty um, uncomfortable. They had this little twist in the back. They didn't have shoe strings. They just twist in the back and they tighten your whole shoe. It was interesting technology at the time, but you know, they need. Anyway, I digress. Um, they released the T Mac ones, white and royal, which is officially footwear white and core royal. They released. March 1st for um, 160 USD. That's all I have for today. Um, I have a video coming up in a couple days with more news. I'll be back on my Grizzly, so stay tuned. As of right now, though, this is the end of episode three of Kick Talk. I'm Stretch. Get yourself a roof beat and I'm out.